Welcome back to 52 Moments, where I answer things like, Why are you like this? Or, What happened to you? Or even, Who did you piss off? As best I can. Along the way, I hope you'll learn more about me. So, let's get to it. Hello, this episode is called Triple C. And what's Triple C? Well, it was an award that was granted every year to uh, mostly keener kids. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, and it stood for citizenship, courteousness, and cooperation. And basically it was, it was being a good human. So this is one that I won in grade six, and it's actually a physical, like, fabric crest. And this is, it's that flocked velvet. Mmm, so 70s. <laughs> but yes, you can see the triple C and the MCK for Mackenzie and the Eagle, which was apparently our thing. I have no idea who designed this or when. Um, but in grade seven, they, the school held a contest to redesign it. They wanted it in a semicircle instead of the big oval. And I think this was probably for a bunch of reasons to cut down on printing costs, to better fit on backpacks, whatever. I never stitched mine onto anything. Um, but I entered the contest. I gave it a whirl and I ended up winning. So, my winning entry doo -doo -doo, is remarkably similar to the original. I kept the, I put the full text of Mackenzie Elementary. I put the triple C's in the top, and the eagle is extremely stylized to the point where in this picture it looks like a seagull. So, <clears throat> they took that and gave it to an, a professional <laughs> graphic artist who tidied it up. And the result is, was the new crest. Now they didn't have time to get them printed up for that year. So grade seven was still the old crests. Um, but the following years, that was what was given out. So I never got one. And all I have as the memory is that is my original artwork and a, and a note of notice in the, in the awards thing, which says, you know, my name of, as who designed it. Um, but I went back to that school probably about 10 years ago when my niece was attending. And when I walked into the main hallway, there's a trophy case for the big trophies, and beside that on the wall was my design, <laughs> or the modified version of my design. But pretty spectacular to walk into a building and see your design on the wall. I mean, for someone who's essentially an amateur artist, and I mean, really, I was 12. <laughs> so that is... Like I talk sometimes about the dents I put on the city. That is one of the dents. Um, doing that design was really meaningful for me at that time. It was extremely validating to uh, win that contest. Now, as an adult and as an artist, I tell everybody who will listen, if you are a working artist, if you are trying to break into design, etc., do not enter contests. They are essentially spec work, speculative, and you don't get paid. Like if you don't win, you're out all that time and effort. No one will see your work and you can't even really show it off most of the time because usually where you submit gets to keep it. I mean, read the fine print. <laughs> but as a kid, sure, go for it. Or if you're a hobbyist, sure, I guess, but understand that it's, it's intellectual property and there's weird rules around it. 
So anyway, that's another rant for another time. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically that kept me working in art in ways that I think not a lot of people really consider. Um, it made me willing to try my hand at designing my own logos. Like when I did website design, um, I did a lot of that myself. Uh, I, I don't consider myself like a fine artist, but I, I know that I have enough skills and enough creative energy to, um, put things sort of together that don't look like they suck. Um, and I am plenty hard on myself for what sucks. So, um, having external validation is incredibly important for my artwork and winning an award for that was, um, really very nice. Like, I think I got a gift certificate or something for, for winning. Um, but I mean, even if I didn't just knowing that my design lived on, that was quite enough. So yeah, this is a short one, <laughs> but yeah, triple C. I was a good, good citizen back in the day. I like to think I still am. And yeah, now you know another thing about why I am the way I am. And I hope you'll come back again and see more. Thanks.